So for the Merkaba meditation, uh, I haven't watched that video in a long time, so I'm just going to give it to you raw and real on how it, it's unfolded to me right now. Uh, so the first thing for the Merkaba meditation is just like a, like a quick mindfulness practice, getting out of the thoughts, you know, like shaking the body, getting loose and relaxed so you're ready, right? right? right. And we find our right. center. So then th there's three connections. The first three connections. The first connection in the Merkaba meditation practice is basically going inward. Like g sit right here and in, in your, mm -hmm. like inside of you right now, bring your eye to right here, mm -hmm. right in, in your head, right? And like look right. from there, speak from there. Right. And now let's move that down just to our throat, our so eye. The eye, the eye just no, or focus just in like the center of it. Your yeah. consciousness, your awareness, bring your awareness down into your throat. Become aware mm -hmm. of your throat, right? And mm -hmm. experience the world from that center, like your awareness centering there, right? And mm -hmm. this is just showing you how we can bring our body aware or our awareness throughout different parts mm -hmm. of our body. And when we sit there, the energy changes, our experience changes, how we perceive and express changes. It's very crazy. And what we can do is bring your center, bring your eye, right? Right down to below your navel, right below your, your belly button, right? Like right, right. here. And bring your right. eye and bring your awareness down there. Mm -hmm. And then we start breathing, right? And we start breathing. Basically, it's your solar plexus and like just below your belly button, right? Right in this area. That's your center. That's your very center mm -hmm. of, of your being. And we bring our awareness. We bring our I am right there. And we breathe into it. And when we breathe now, what we want to do is essentially breathe through the whole body as if our lungs, like we're, we're, we're breathing on the energetic level. So we want to imagine that every cell of our body is our lungs, like our body is our lungs. And we breathe through our legs, we breathe through our hands and we breathe everything into our center, like on the inhale, right? As if our whole body was our lungs and that's the center point. And then we allow everything to pour out of us. It's as if, as if the air was getting sucked out of every cell of our body. As if the air was like, what we're trying to do is equalize and find balance and centeredness in the body. And this is key before we connect to anything above or below is when we can allow the air to equalize, allow the air to flow out of us equally, like equal pressure everywhere from our center point, right? Breathing back in and yeah, just doing that for like five, 10 minutes, really. Um, and I'll have a recording of this that you can watch later to remind yourself but moving forward. That's really important just to find balance, peace, and centeredness in the body. And once we find our center point, now we're ready to connect to the earth and then the father, like the sky and the cosmos and the mind and the earth and that energy. And what we're going to do is we're going to breathe in. And basically, we're going to bring our awareness above us, right? And we're going to feel, we're going to feel the ethers, right? And you can do this in any order, really. You can do the the ground first or the air set first but we're going to feel up here and we're going to become aware of the cosmos and literally the the we're the vehicle of light we are a vehicle of light we're the center of the tree we are the stem right we just found the center yep. of the stem we found the seed and essentially what we're trying to do is create the vessel to pour in and pour up oh. to create a two-way flow and that's the merkaba meditation is the two-way flow and the connection mm -hmm. in the center and we're gonna get into that, but essentially what we do is we connect and realize that God or the universe, our like source connection is pouring through our crown. It's pouring over our shoulders. Like imagine you're, you're in a waterfall, right? right? And like breathe in and connect to that waterfall and then breathe out and give it permission. Give it permission to completely fall over you. Give it permission to slide through you open yourself as a vessel and surrender to the flow of divinity coming in from above, like a, like a light beam down into us. Right. 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 And still breathing from our center. We're going to breathe it in. So there's like two parts to that. The first one is like connecting to the above. Right. Mm -hmm. And, and right. visualizing that portal down. And the, and the second part to that is breathing it into our center, then allowing it to pump through us on the breath out. 
The breath in is the yin. It's the reception. It's the reception of energies. So what we do is we place our mind to what energy and aware, like mm -hmm. we place our awareness to what energy we're calling for. And then we breathe right. in and we surrender. We submit. We allow that energy to pour in and fill True. us, right? On the right. exhale, right. on the exhale, it pumps through our body. It shines forth from our cells. So on the exhale, it's the yang and it's not a push. Because you're the exhale, you're essentially holding all the space. You zoom out to the full container and allow what you just received to pump everywhere, to pump through the whole being, right? Okay. Yeah. And that's the exhale part. It's, it's very tranquil. It's not like pushing right. something because the true power of the yang is not in that doing action. It's in holding all the space and allowing all things to dance within it while maintaining a center point, while maintaining the center pole. It's the symbol of the sun. Um, yes. And then we vice versa, we do that same exact process with the earth. So essentially in the Merkava right. meditation, we are creating a connection to the above, breathing it into us, mm -hmm. allowing it to merge and flow with us. Right. And now we switch. Right. Now we switch to the below and we can let go mm -hmm. of the above for right now. We'll merge them later. Mm -hmm. Now we switch to the mm -hmm. below. What we do is we, we go deep into the earth, right? We like feel beneath us. We feel like we're sitting in an ocean that's lapping over our way, our legs. Perhaps like you, you imagine yourself, you're in a stream sitting and you feel the water flowing over your legs and you feel like the bottoms of your legs connecting deep and especially like your lower back. You see the earth comes up to a triangle that goes right through like the sides of the hips and into the lower back and then right into the solar plexus where everything meets. And Right. Essentially, what we're doing is creating the awareness and the connection to the blow and calling up the mm -hmm. mother. This, like in the Emerald Tablets of Thoth, it talks about calling to the, the, the fires from the center of the earth and calling up the fires of Amenti and allowing the fires to roar up. And a key point in the whole Merkaba meditation, a master key, is you are mm -hmm. never pushing or pulling or trying or like you aren't doing anything. All we're doing is allowing the allowing ourselves to become a vessel. The mother's already trying to shoot through you. The father's already trying to pull down through, pull down through you. We must open to the energy, right? And hold the space for it. That's what it's about. It's about opening to the energy and holding the space for it. So essentially, um, what we do is we create the connection with our awareness. We place our awareness beneath us. Where our awareness goes, the energy is going to flow. We're going to cultivate energy beneath us and connected to our root. And then we're going to breathe it up. We breathe up the energy of the earth, right? And we breathe it in. We breathe it into our core, our solar plexus, our core transmutation center. We breathe it up, right? And then we allow it on the exhale. We allow it to rise through us, right? We allow it to rise up into us. We feel it. The exhale is essentially about holding space and feeling all, feeling everything that comes up, like feeling the blow, feeling yourself and feeling it flow through you. Essentially just holding the space, holding the connection open for it to happen. That's what the exhale is. It's holding the space. And yeah, so I hope I articulated that to some decent degree with the connection to the above, breathing that in, allowing it to flow and the connection to the blow, breathing that up breathing that into the, the center and allowing it to flow. And before we get to merging the two poles and balancing the two poles and creating a two-way flow, creating the Merkaba, creating the, the light vehicle is essentially a vessel. You're becoming a tree. That is also an, a spaceship. <laughs> and everything goes online when we can open up to the two-way flow and allow it to flow through us simultaneously. So, before we get to that, I just want to make a quick note that all energy work has to do with imagination, awareness, and subtle perception. We are essentially piercing into to veils beyond what we can currently feel and perceive. And to do that, it is to imagine reality mm -hmm. itself. Reality itself is the essence, this permeating field, this ocean of energy, this ocean of ether, right? And we right. are a node that's essentially offline until we're fully like activated. And to activate that node, it is about creating an imagination that is aligned with the laws of that essence, the, the truth of the Merkaba, the truth of the tree of life, the truth of you know, your blueprint. 
And when we can imagine that like in, in totality and how we do that is every time we imagine it more correctly, we imagine like we tap into the truer, more intuitive connection to like the father and the cosmos pouring into us. And the more our imagination aligns, you know, with the truth there, our perception is more able to pick up on it because we are pointing our perception towards to what to feel through our imagination. Our imagination is leading our perception to a new place to expand into. So it's imagination, breath, and perception. Why is breath important? Because breath is how we breathe life into the awareness there. We are breathing life into the imagination. And you see, God breathed life into the heavens and expanded it. God breathed life into the earth and expanded it. This is the creation of you. This is how you go online. As you imagine it, right, you build the form, right, you touch it, you connect with your awareness, and you breathe life into that awareness, and then you get still. You get very still on that exhale, and you see what happens. You see what you can become aware of. You become aware of the edges of your perception, the things on the very fleeting edges. And the thing about doing that is you lose your center when you react to something, when you judge something, when, like, Essentially, we have to be in our center. We have to be holding space for all and aware, of the, and aware of our perception expanding, but not like clinging to anything, not attaching to any weird like pops, pricks, any weird thoughts or whatever. It's just observing. It's, it's about learning to observe unattached from what's going on. It's learning to be the vessel and not control, like letting God move in you and you moving in God. You know what I mean? It's it's right. allowing the energies to move and observing them. And that's what holding space means. Like that's what it means to be f like holding space is holding space as if you were the, like the divine blueprint fully activated on the next level. You're seeing that right. in your mind. You are that you're holding space for it and you're allowing it to wake up. It's kind of like turning on a cold hand when your hand is ice cold, putting awareness right. and blood back into it creates pops, pricks, pains, pressure, right? right but right. it's turning on. And that's, that's the same right. thing that happens on the energetic level with us. So now that I got all that said, just to merge mm -hmm. it all together into the full Merkaba, there's different mm -hmm. breath work patterns you can do. There's different ways to do it. Like perhaps, and essentially the goal is to combine your awareness mm -hmm. and the flow of the above into the below and the below into the above. And it's not pushing it, it's allowing it to flow by being connected and breathing in totality, in fullness, feeling all, being all. And to do that is essentially you start alternating quickly between breathing the above into your hips, right? And allowing it to flow out beneath you and trying different techniques. I have tons of videos about this, like different techniques of perception, such as like allowing the above to get sucked through you. Imagine God grabbed the bottom of the triangle and pulled it down through you slowly. And imagine it's like relief. It's like bliss, like create the full experience, create the sensory experience with your imagination, right? And allow it to happen. Find ways that, so that we're not pushing something. We're allowing the prana to breathe into places. We're allowing it to flow into places by bringing our awareness there, right? Holding space for what is there, like a loving container and allowing change to happen, allowing the waters to merge. Um, and we alternate between the above connection and the below connection, right? And essentially, as we alternate, we're gonna get to a place where our mind is able to hold both simultaneously, where we're able to actually feel, tap into and call down the hep, like the above, right? And allow that to flow down through, through our legs and into the ground. Right. And at the same time, we can call up the ground and allow that to flow into the heavens. And an easy way to do that, I have a video about the eight different types of subtle breath work, like the, subtle, the subtleties of breath. Like you can have a yin-yang breath, a yang-yin breath, and all this stuff. The, the important thing for this video is realizing that on the in-breath, we are receiving, right? And the, the reception, like essentially breathe in and pull down from the above, allow the, the above to flow down your skin like you're in a shower, right? And right. that's like breathing in. And breathing out, so this is the alternate, now we switch our awareness and allow and almost call 
we, we go to this place, we go up here, we call it up from our, our minds, right? And we feel our body and we call up the below on that exhale, right? And we allow everything to get exhaled and pulled and pushed and, and flow out of us, right? So we're creating the, tor right. like the throttle field. You know right. what I mean? That flow. And that flow is a two-way flow because there's the ether pouring into you from above, the ether pouring into you below, and you're activating the field. Okay, the field is the final step. The field is the final door you go to in a meditation. And that's the full expansiveness, full relaxed yin mode. And uh, the last expression part, I mean, the expanding part, can you just repeat that? Sorry. Yeah. The last expansion part. Okay. So uh, uh, the breath technique, just for mm -hmm. beginning, like basically you got to create your own techniques. There's a million techniques, a million different ways to do this. But an easy one is breathe in and feel your breath and awareness go down your spine. Feel, feel the above flow down with your breath. You're breathing down everything into your base, right? right. On the exhale, you allow that to flow out. And on that exhale, you're basically now calling up. You're, you're bringing up from below the base, right? And you're slowly exhaling from the bottom of your lungs to the top of your lungs out, right? Okay. And so inhale, down, exhale, up, inhale, down, exhale, up, inhale, down, exhale, up. Alternating like that, maybe even switching it up on the, the, the rhythm that you're doing it, maybe doing a few breaths down, then a few breaths up, but essentially getting to the point where when you're inhaling, you're pulling both. There's a two-way flow in the body. There's a two-way flow. You're, you're pulling both down and up and on the exhale. So essentially, this is the final breath before we go to the full expansive state. The final breath in the Merkaba activation is finding your center in your solar plexus again, right? And being there and in mm -hmm. on the inhale, calling in the above that flows through your crown and through your shoulders and through your back and mm -hmm. also calling up the earth and flowing it all into the center point. Right. And essentially this looks like two triangles. It looks like. In breath is that triangle. Right there, right, right. where we're bringing it all to the center on the in breath, the out breath, right, right. right? we're mm -hmm. allowing them to, to flow mm -hmm. past each other. This is the two way flow right here. Right. This is the right. out breath. And mm -hmm. yes, yeah, so on the out breath, you allow the flows to merge and become one. And essentially, while you're doing this practice, you're getting your breath mm -hmm. to a place where it's silent and full, like silent breathing. Where it's like the inhale is like a minute long or 30 seconds long and same with the exhale and holding at the top and the bottom and it's a silent breath and like the yogis talk about the state of like like i forget what's what what it's called but it's essentially no longer breathing because they are completely existing in a flow of energy now they no longer need the pressure and depressurization the compressor the compression and like expulsion of energy to stay alive because they learned how to pump right? In a two way fashion, like the sun, the sun shines without ever like glitching out It never alternates It never like has to breathe in to shine. It is constantly breathing out. Right. But at the same time, it is constantly pulling in from the ether and expressing that out simultaneously. And that's what the Merkaba is. The Merkaba is a two way flow. It is constantly drawing in and constantly flowing out. The in breath and the out breath have become one right? The, the below and the above have become one. You have blended mm -hmm. thyself with the great essence. And that's, that's right. the power of the Merkaba meditation. So right. the, final, the final part of the breath work is pulling both to the center, allowing both mm -hmm. to merge and get pulled through you. The, the, and that's the final breathing practice. And then once you have that, essentially like you just fired up, you created all this fire inside of you as like you're trying to bring prana into certain places, turn on places, activate. And now every time after you do an intense meditation like that, of like breathing and moving a lot of prana, now go full expansive. Imagine the full toroidal field around us, right? Imagine the edges of it. Imagine the edges of it. 
and just be where you are and allow all the waters to flow and be aware of the edges, be aware of the edges turning and allow everything, all the processes to happen inside of us. It is essentially right. going so yin, disconnecting mm -hmm. from what's going on, but feeling all of it, becoming this whole circle, becoming your whole aura, becoming the whole field, right? And allowing right. the edges to move while staying in the center. And that is essentially, it's, it's like a water practice. The whole beginning of this, this whole lesson was a fire practice with a little bit of water. The water practice is placing your mind in to the image of what you are, right? And breathing as that and allowing, and be, but at the same time being where you are. It's really crazy. You have to hold two things in your mind. But imagining what you are, right? And breathing into that and allowing what you are. Being where you are and allowing it to transform, allowing everything you feel to change, feeling more, feeling more, releasing more, less judgments, less reaction. And how subtle can you perceive? How far can you perceive? How far above you can you feel? How far below you can you feel? Right? And this is the water practice by, because by moving our awareness outside of us, by moving it to a more expansive area, we're actually allowing the blockages to flow out because we're telling the energy to flow that way. You know, we're telling our energy to connect to something beyond our normal perception. So get very right. subtle, get very still, get very yin, feel the edges and be all of it. That is the final water wrap up of the Merkaba. Um, so much could be said here. I could probably make like a five hour audio on each one of the breath works going into it, but that was really the essentials of you know, like a Merkaba meditation and hopefully a lot of keys for you there on connecting to the above, like the awareness, the perception and the imagination and breathing those all into you. And ultimately you got to take this and apply it. You know, you got your own, right. you'll figure out a million techniques. I could have wrote 5 million books about like, at, like right. my journey through energy work and breath work and the many hours I've spent every day doing this kind of stuff is like, you know, you find new techniques, you make new breakthroughs all the time. And the more breakthroughs right. you make, the further you get, the faster the, the experience unfolds. And to right. the point where like you, you are the source of the formula. You are the source of the techniques. No one needs to tell you the technique. And like, that's what the ancient magi, the ancient sages were, is that's why right. they never passed down formulas. Because if, if you still need a formula or the technique, you're, you're missing, you're missing like the source that's within you. That literally makes right. them. Yeah. Yep. I, I got that. Yeah. So, so I mean, uh, like uh, the doubt actually, I will just play. the triangle. If you see triangle, so I have two triangles. One is upper one, one is uh, down. So the, we actually, we, we need to get the light from the uh, bottom of the triangle or from the tip of the triangle. Like, hmm. like where do we need to get the, I think it's from the bottom, Especially right? It's the, the triangle is a, it's better to think about it as like a spiral of energy, right? right? And we're trying to feel the field. The triangle is the field you're trying to become aware of. Not necessarily mm -hmm. like you're not trying to become aware of the point, you know, in general, like the Merkaba itself isn't geometric, mm -hmm. although it is geometric, but it's curvy. It, like there's no like hard edges necessarily or the triangle is essentially giving you the field to become aware uh, aware of right and the direction to flow the ether the direction to flow your awareness the direction to connect into an upward triangle right is essentially showing you the field to become aware of the place and like and allow it to flow that way oh wow i have a merkaba cheat sheet that i drew up the other day um, right here. Let me just show this on camera for a second. <laughs> cool. Yeah, right there. Yep. yep. You can see that. Yep. Yeah, I can see that now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Essentially, these are the fields that we're becoming aware of and activating. And you're allowing this side to flow into this side and this side to flow into this side and this side to flow mm -hmm. into this side. And this kind of anatomy gets really complex and whatnot. And it's not as important as just understanding this as the final goal. This is the end state, right? And you'll realize this. All of this gets realized. But I don't, I'll send you a picture of that after. Mm -hmm. But that's some really master keys on the energy work. I have that on my Patreon too and stuff where I post a lot of this kind of stuff. 
but yeah, sure. that's, that's the Merkaba meditation. Uh, thanks for asking about that. And we can continue on with that throughout our coaching yep. calls and everything. Um, right. Yeah, that's, 